Okay, so this is video two on this Prius. As you can see, that the customer install, installed the Easy Chill. And uh, look at the side glass. Look at how cloudy it is. It looks like gray smog. Good view in there. Little particles stuck to the inside of the glass. Yeah, this is why you don't want to use this crap from the big box stores. So this system here has a very low system charge capacity, but yet this has three ounces of other lubricants and sealants and other products in here that are not refrigerant. But the system on this is like 2.77 to 3.77 on refrigerant charge. Let's look it up. Let's uh, see if I could scan this with the max. Uh, where the hell is it? MACS max right there. So we're we'll open up that. I'm gonna scan the VIN, and that'll give us the air conditioning information. If it'll do it, I'm having a problem with this. This can't. This phone has a problem with the camera, but we might get lucky. Let's see if we get lucky. Please get lucky. Come on, scan it, please. And it doesn't want to scan it. Not enough light. Nope, it's not going to scan it. So I'll, I'll manually enter it. So enter VIN. And so I'll go to manual enter. And where's our VIN? JTDK. So JTDK N3D. N, three, D, U five E one, U five E one, seven five nine three, seven oops, seven five nine three zero three, enter. Prius, Toyota, 2014, cooling AC, cooling system specifications, AC system, and this is a bigger oil capacity system. It's not the 3.77. So this one is from 4 ounces to 4.9 ounces of oil. And by adding that can of refrigerant that has lubricant, oil sealing, you add an extra 3 ounces. So you almost double the oil capacity inside this system and it's the wrong oil as you can see that it's all gray and white and fuzzy inside the glass so we'll come back here and now let's see if i can add some more light onto the system so look at the side glass you've seen in all my other videos how crystal clear that should look so it's all white and foggy because the oil that they use inside this can does not mix well with the oil that comes back to the inside the system and that's why it's all gray and uh, white and cloudy looking and that's what you get when you listen to other people or forums and stuff like that on what to use on your car um, all right so i'm going to perform a refrigerant recovery on this and i'm actually going to try to see what i can pull out um, i'm going to use my side glass to try to show you guys so this is a clear sight glass so you can actually see the refrigerant come out. We're gonna hook this up and see what we find. 